Hey friends, it's Kara with Kinsley's Creative Palette and I am gathering my supplies to paint a mini turkey and I want to apologize. It has been a hot minute since um, I have been on live. It's just been crazy. So please forgive me, but I have so many new things in the works for you guys and one of them I wanted to show you. First, I want to put up and see if you guys can guess what this is going to be. Hi, Lisa. Y'all let me know. Hey, Ginger. Okay, so y'all let me know if you can guess what this is going to be. It is for the virtual paint party. And so I've got my piece all cut out and ready to paint. Hello, Mary. I am headed to Texas tomorrow to um, a conference. It's actually with... Heidi Easley over at Texas Art and Soul. Sorry, man, I, I feel very pale today. Um, yes, it's a snowman, it's a snowman. Hey, Anna, hey, Lisa, hey, Christina. Um, so yeah, it's a snowman, and let me show y'all how cute it is. So I asked my members if they wanted a full snowman or just a head, and they all wanted the snowman head with, they said specifically they wanted it to have a scarf. Let me show y'all how cute this is going to be. Sorry, I don't have my... Why is this not working? Um, I'm trying to pull up the picture, but my messenger is not working all of a sudden. There it goes. Okay. So, I got some other cute stuff. Do y'all want, want me to show you some sneak peeks of what's coming up? Because the reason I have not been live much lately is because I have been um, creating so many new things and my brain can only handle so much at a time so let me show you guys some of the fun stuff coming up and seriously you're only going to see it if you're on this live because i'm not releasing it all right now so i did a thing last week i hired some help because i wanted to start creating a whole bunch more but i don't have time to create and keep up with everything else so um, I hired a sweet lady to help me with some of my um, new digital stuff. Okay, so this is hard to see. So this is our snowman for a virtual paint party next month. And it's just one of the new releases coming up this week. But obviously my virtual paint party people will get it as part of their monthly deliverables. Look at this. Oh gosh, I wish the color would show up. Um, let's see if I hold it. There we go. Look at that. So there's a gingerbread house and Mary made a suggestion. She and I were messaging and she made a suggestion and I actually took her suggestion and I edited it. Victoria, I hope you feel better, love. Good morning, Wendy. Yeah, I'm saying morning too, even though it's like two o'clock in the afternoon. And so I'm going tomorrow to Texas to um, be a part of Heidi's event. She has a live event coming up. It's not showing me new comments. Okay. Um, but here's another one of the new releases. It's an old truck with a Christmas tree. Let me see what else I can find to show you. I had one of my members ask me, she, she wanted to paint for Christmas, um, for a Christmas gift. She wanted to paint a popsicle. So I took my old popsicle and I recreated it. So it will be a new template that's coming up. Let me show y'all some more guys there's so much fun stuff like I just I love the Christmas season anyway but I've had so much fun designing Christmas designs um, let's see oh guys did y'all see the Santa face last week let me show him to you I love 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 Santa okay look at this let me see there no it's hard there's a glare you can't see that all right, hold on. Can y'all see that? There is Santa Claus. And every Santa needs a Mrs. Claus too. Isn't she cute? Hopefully y'all can see that. And then, okay. Um, guys, this is going to be super fun. Look at this cutie patootie. And there's a Mrs. Reindeer, too. So there's a Mrs. Reindeer. And then there's just the reindeer heads, which are super cute. 
Oh, and this is the edit that I made, Mary. Let me show, let me show Mary. Thank you so much, Mona. Okay, so Mary suggested for, let's see if I can make it bigger. For those of you who are newer to cutting, she suggested that I bring the um, candy canes all the way up to the top. So I did that. That looked cute. So this one will actually come if you purchase the template. It'll come in two versions. Um, it'll come, and it'll have the cut files too. So if you use a laser cutter or CNC router or something like that, you can use those. But you can either have this one where it's um, built, they're built into the roof line, or you can have the one where they're down lower. Okay, let me see what else. Uh, oh, the elves. I don't know if y'all saw these. I don't think I have the colored pictures on here. But um, did y'all see, shoot, the girl and boy elf? Thought they turned out super cute. <laughs> Ginger, you're so funny. It's a, you know, it's a perk to be in the virtual paint party because they got a coupon code this month for 50% off all templates. Um, and thankfully Ginger's in that group. Okay, I'm gonna show y'all the girl reindeer. She's so cute. Okay, she also comes in the wreath, but it's hard to see, but she is super cute too. And she has little eyelashes and I keep having to scroll up. Y'all are talking to me. What's the app called? What app, babe? I'm just showing pictures on my phone. Um, but these are all templates that I sell on my website. Elizabeth. Um, Kimberly, I use, I use Procreate. And let me see. Oh yeah, and then I think I showed y'all this one. Did I show y'all this one already? Cause she, I designed her last night before I went to sleep and I love her so much. There's gonna be a little boy too. So anyway, lots of new fun stuff coming, but that has been keeping me very busy because I wanted to, um, good morning Mary Jane. I wanted to, um, release a bunch of new stuff and since I'm leaving town tomorrow I've just I, I had to focus on something and so that's kind of been it the last week or so thank you Lisa um, I'm gonna cut this real quick with my ruler because I don't have any scissors right here do y'all use the um, egg cartons for your scissor for um your paint because to me I'm not a huge recycler because it's our trash company doesn't also do recycling. But if I can recycle and reuse something, I will. Okay, it's been moved. Thank you, Kimberly. I appreciate that. Um, not your app. Thank you. Um, Elizabeth, did you mean my website? Is that what you're asking? If so, it's Kinsley's Creative Palette.com. And I design my templates in Procreate. I draw them out in Procreate. Okay, so I've got paint. I'm gonna have to pull up because it's been a hot minute. Um, Anna, I am working on getting them released before I leave, but they won't message me. Message me, okay? Message me. I don't wanna talk about that right here, right now. We can talk about it in the private group though because um, y'all will be the first to know, but soon. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm gonna pull up my turkey. So a couple years ago, I painted this turkey. He is in our virtual paint party vault. And, oh, um, Ginger, we're missing an E. L, it's P-A-L-E-T-T-E. -T -T -E. Let's see. Hello, Gracie. All right, I'm gonna start putting some paint on my board. I have a little bitty. Do y'all want me to walk you outside real quick and show y'all what this is going to be for? Who wants to go outside with me and see what this is going to be for? Because I have something special coming up and it will involve what I'm making this for. So I'm just going to grab some paint. I can bring my cart over here, I guess. Just shake them all up. Okay, guys, here's my trusty cart of paint. And then I've got white. 
Um, Facebook is killing me today. <laughs> Thank you, Ginger. Appreciate you. Um, Facebook's killing me today. It won't show me new comments. I have to swipe. So if you comment and I miss it, I'm sorry. I will go back and answer. All right, so I'm getting some brown, a couple different browns. So this little guy is gonna be part of my front porch decor. And, oh, I need to open this one. So guys, when you're opening a new thing of paint, if it's your first time to hang out with me, um, twist it as if you're tightening it and this plastic stuff will come up. So you don't have to use your teeth. And then you can just pop it open. So I'm just getting a bunch of different fall colors in my board. Um, this paint, Kimberly, is Anita's, but you can really use um, just whatever. Hey, Wendy, um, are you by chance gonna be in Texas this week? If you are currently not a um, virtual paint party member, we are closed, but there is a wait list if you would like to get on it. All you have to do is go to the Kinsley's Creative Palette website and click on take you outside. Okay, let me take you outside real quick. Um, click on the Kinsley's Creative Palette website and then virtual paint party at the top and then it'll take you to a wait list form and you can get on. So guys, look, look, look. Okay. Yes, you, Wendy. I was hoping you were going to be there. Okay, guys. So this welcome sign has these interchangeable... Let me pull these off. Okay. It has these interchangeable... Um, where is that? Little Velcro pieces. And I have not changed mine lately. And so I had this little turkey, and I thought I would put him right there. So that's what we're making. But... For, um, I've got a fall project coming up and I'm super excited to show you all what it is, but it's probably going to be after I get back from Texas before I get it released. But essentially all of my new templates have this size. And so I'm going to make something that would help y'all make one of those with just paint and wood. Um, so coming up with something really fun. It's just, it's been on my brain. I just haven't had time to get it done. Okay, yes. Um, Ginger says, hi, JJ. That is my birdie, if y'all don't know. He was sitting on my shoulder this morning, and um, he's precious. He's my baby. But I have to look at my picture, so let me pull that back up. This turkey is, um, this turkey is around eight, eight or nine inches. Wendy, stay tuned, okay? They were not painted on, but... I'm going to, um, those were metal. I'm going to release something very, very, very soon that will make it so you can paint them on and it'll make it super easy. All right, so I've got my turkey pulled up and if it goes away again, I'll have to pull it up again. Hey Joan, I need to apologize to you, love. You asked me last week when I would be going live and um, I hope that you have not felt neglected. I have just simply been working my tail off on non live stuff, other fun stuff going on. And I just haven't been on. So I hope that y'all have not felt neglected. Yes, the eight and a half by 11 template, most of the time it should fit the welcome sign. You want me to tell y'all what I'm gonna come up with or what I'm gonna create? And I can try to get it done before I leave, but I leave in the morning and I've got to also get a bunch of templates loaded. So it might not work, but I can try. Hello, Wanda Sue. Okay guys, I'm just painting my little turkey body. You see, I'm just kind of freehanding him and I might need to make it bigger. Just giving him some little feathers. His head might be a little bit too big. Let's 
So where is everybody joining me from today? And what are you guys doing creative this week? Hello, Miss Wanda. Hey, Wanda, I got your message just a few minutes ago, but um, I was out, so I'm going to respond to it in just a few minutes. Be patient with me. I did not forget about you. All right, I'm going to dip in this yellow. And I'm just going to come right in here and paint this. Okay, so on my sample, or on the, the picture, I wove a lot of colors in. So I started with the yellow and I added some brown. But by having brown already on my brush, you kind of get that same effect. So I'm not washing my brush right now. Hey, Tammy from Louisiana. Right, I'm going to dip in my orange, but this orange is bright, so it needs a little bit of brown. There we go. And the one thing I will tell you when you're kind of blending colors on the fly, you want to go in the direction if, um, awesome, um, I'm leaving Garland this little witch hats and ghosts in your paint, sweet. Okay, what did, who was that? Kimberly says hi from Arizona. First vending event November 1st. Girl, that's coming up soon. Kentucky, Leah, taking a break from reupholstering chairs. Hello, Robin from Oklahoma. And Wendy's joining us all the way from Alaska. Wendy, I thought that's where you were. But I also know that you're in um, Heidi's group as well. And so I didn't know if you were going to be at Paint Party Live this week. Because that's where I'm headed tomorrow. Well, it doesn't start until later in the week. But I'm headed down tomorrow. Okay, so when you're, when you're uh, mixing colors on the fly. And you're wanting them to have that variegated. It's kind of hard to describe. But where it, it shows texture. You don't want to over mix and you don't want to go in crazy directions because you want the, how do I say it? Like you want the um, variety of colors, I know, right? Um, you want the varieties of colors to show up. <gasps> Mary Jane, did you just purchase the Bulldog or were, no, you purchased it when I first listed it, didn't you? Somebody just, it just popped through that somebody bought the Bulldog on my website. That you bought it when I first listed it. I think you were the one who asked me to do a bulldog, weren't you? All right. So remember, don't go all wonky when you're um, when you're adding these varieties of colors. You see how you want them to kind of go in the direction of the feathers. Okay, yellow, orange. So I'm just doing yellow and orange. And guys, this does not have to be perfect. Darn Facebook, come on. Wendy, that is a good question. It, it, it would probably depend on the number of people. Craft shows are not really my area of expertise. I've done them a few times, but around here in Ohio, um, wooden door hangers are not as big of a thing. And so like they don't go over as well at craft shows. At least they haven't where I am. Now that could not that might not hold true for other parts of the state. So let's see. She says, I feel like I'm trying to do too much. And Wendy, you might just make sure that whatever you're doing, that if it doesn't sell at the event, that you have an outlet for it. That would be the only, my only word of advice is you don't want to be left with a whole bunch of stock. JJ is happy today. All right, I know it looks like a mess right now. Y'all see that? But I'm just brushing in color. I will say I've been getting a lot, a lot, a lot of business questions Oh, I'm sorry, Margie. 
Um, I've been getting a lot of business questions in my inbox and I'm always happy to point y'all in the right direction, but if I don't have a good answer for you and I don't have someone to refer you to, um, sometimes I, I just keep looking. So if you ask me a question and I don't answer or don't send you to, you know, the right avenue to find your answer, please don't be upset. I, I do get a lot of, um, I get a lot of inbox messages and I can't always answer them really quickly because I've got, you know, obviously kids and a husband and um, other things. All right, I am just adding a little bit more color on my, my feathers. Guys, when you're doing something like this, don't overthink it. No one is gonna come up to your door and be like, oh, your, your turkey feathers were really terrible. They were really terrible. They're not gonna do that, I promise. Okay, I think I'm gonna add, I feel like that needs a little bit more dimension. So let me make that more prominent. Most of my feathers turned out okay, but I've got this one that's giving me problems. I can't get the yellow and the um, orange to contrast enough. So let me add a little bit more orange. I think I need to let it dry because at this point my colors are just all mixing. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there. Yes, Leah, that's what, originally that's what I thought about doing, but because primarily my friends on here follow me for drawer hangers, um, I thought, you know what, it would be really fun if they could use some of the templates that they have to make interchangeable signs. So. I thought I'll do a welcome without having to purchase the metal pieces because the metal pieces can be hard to um, the metal pieces can be hard to get a hold of and they can get expensive but you can cut your cost a lot if you're just using paint um, Kim Watson says she loves my earrings do I sell them no I've had these particular ones for years I sell a lot of earrings but not these particular ones. I sell like the leather earrings and um, some of the others. My tripod is about a quarter, no, sorry, about an eighth of an inch. All right, friends, now I'm going back to my turkey body and I realized I kind of painted him on lopsided in the beginning. So I'm going back over him. Guys, when you're painting, just remember that it's just paint. At the end of the day, it's just paint. It can all be painted over. You just blow dry it or let it dry and come back to it. So don't ever stress about paint. Heck, you can paint the whole thing over if you need to. All right, so here's where we're at. You see him? I have this little bitty cup, I have to show y'all. This little bitty it's a little strawberry shortcake uh, water bowl. Um, I'm not even sure. I have a bigger water over here, but I don't even know why this is on here. I think it was Kinsley and I were doing watercolors. I, you know, my tribe ply, I think it may start off as a quarter, but that's not what it ends up as. And I wish I had the sticker on the back of one, but it's more like, let me look at a ruler. I don't have a ruler. Yeah, I do. Here it is. Um, see, mine's not quite a quarter. I think it probably starts off as a quarter before they shave it down. Mm. Hello, Myra. I need teardrop earrings, but not sports. Maybe red or hot pink. Oh, girl. So I have some hot pink and um, can't add red. <laughs> <coughs> I have some hot pink that have like silver, uh, like holographic overlays. They are so cute. Okay, I'll add red. 
twisted my arm. He, I think I need to go this darker red though. Oh, you hear that? You don't hear that? I don't think I can use this. I think that paint went bad. Let me try this one. That's better. I don't know that I want red on here, Ginger. Okay, let's see. All right. I'm going to tell y'all, Ginger made me do it. See what she says. <laughs> oh, I left this paintbrush in the water. And look, all the like plastic coating is coming off. This is why I don't like wooden paintbrushes. So I'm just going to sit here and peel it off because if I don't, it's going to end up all over my painting. So I'm just going to sit here and peel it for just a second. Oh my gosh, it all came off. That is so funny. Except this one little tip at the bottom. Okay. But you do. You want red. <laughs> no. You're so silly. Oh. Okay. Let me add some red. I don't even know where I want this red. Let's see. Ginger, if it goes south, it's all your fault. I don't know that I like it. I'm not loving it, Ginger. Red and yellow is orange. It would stand out brighter and louder. I think. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not loving it. I think I need to do some blending over here. There we go. Okay. Let's see. It's too um, prominent right in the middle. Okay, what do you think? Is that what you wanted? Is that too orange? Turkeys need red, red highlights. Okay, okay, okay. Revolution ply. Um, Dana, really? Your Home Depot only has it? Did you ask someone or is it all you saw? Because mine comes in four by eight sheets. But no, I don't like Revolution ply nearly as well. It's not, it's not my preference. But I know a lot of people who love it. Let's see. Now I'm going to add a little bit of, I feel like all my feathers are going to look the same. That looks brighter orange to you. It has red in it. I know it's hard to tell, but um, I'm still, I'm still over here blending. some brown on the edges. Ah. Uh oh, somebody's talking. I don't see the answer to my question yet. Um, JoLynn, I, I, I answered it um, I'm not with my mouth. I didn't answer it. I, I can't type right now. But mine is, it, it may say quarter inch tri-ply. So what y'all have to understand when you buy wood is wood is sold, how do I say this? Um, based on the dimensions that it is before it is finished. Did that come out right? Somebody that knows what I'm trying to say, 
So for example, a two by four may not be exactly two by four. And so with um, your revolution ply, it may say quarter inch, but when it's all said and done and it's sanded down and made flat, it may not be a, a quarter of an inch. Um, Wanda says her revolution ply came apart. Let's see, I'm still working on my feathers over here. Yeah, I know a lot of people have had success with it. It just, I, I started with Revolution Ply whenever um, I first started doing door hangers three years ago, and I I didn't like it as much as the Tri Ply from Home Depot. Okay, my feathers. I'm gonna work on the body, and then we can come back and add some accents. Oh, okay, Marianne says they call it nominal sizing. They round up the size. So, okay, so that may be why. Mine might be a quarter inch. It just, I know it's finished. It's not a quarter of an inch because here's my, here's my ruler, okay? And my quarter of an inch is right about here. And I'll show you my board next to it. It's not, it's not a quarter of an inch. It's not quite there, so see. Ah! Oh, Kimberly, what kind did you buy that, that fell apart? All right, I'm going to go back and paint the brown again. Hello, Christy Wells. We're all over here talking about wood. Home Depot is my favorite store. Huh. Oh, okay. Sorry. Hopefully that um, worked. Hopefully you got your answers. If not ask again and I will be happy to do my best to answer you. So I'm just painting his little feathers like off to the side. Guys, they're not perfect. Like there's nothing about this that's going to be perfect. So don't, don't think it needs to be. Hi friend. Hey girl. Hello, Leonore. Has underlayment was a section of the board on what he did. Mm. You know what? That happens sometimes. <laughs> Jolyn, that's so funny. Um, so I'll tell y'all years ago, uh, when I first started an at home business, I started with, um, shoot, 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 what am I trying to say? Embroidery and applique. And file addiction is a real thing. It gets a real thing. Because I had so many files that I never used. But, like, you collect them. It's, it's almost like with me, I, I have a lot of fabric, too. I love fabric. And you just kind of like collect them. So yeah, I get that. JoLynn, she's, she can relate. Yes. All right, guys. Um, there. Okay, I think that's going to be better. I just wanted this feather to like actually look separate from the others. Y'all ever have something you're painting and it's like one part of it just doesn't make you happy? Do you? I have um, a six needle machine and it's funny, I'm gonna monogram something here before I leave town. Okay, so I'm gonna grab some black because this little guy has a pilgrim's hat. Let's see. Okay. 
You know, with black, you don't need a lot. Good thing, because I don't have a lot. Okay. And I'm going to grab a brush. My kids have been playing with my paint brushes. And I don't mind if they play with them, but they are not putting them in the water. Hello. Hi, Pam. Thank you so much, love. Um, Yeah, it's been a hot minute. Uh, I'll post the, the live when I'm done, but you can go back and watch like why I've been not on much lately. I've been getting some stuff created and I've just been running out of time. Um, I agreed to volunteer at my kiddos schools on Tuesdays, which doesn't sound like a lot. It's like from, I usually get there, I'm trying to think. I usually get there around 10.30 that morning, I guess. And then I really don't get to leave until it's almost time for school to be out because um, their, their classes rotate. And so I'm trying to get like different students through. So anyway, Tuesdays, uh, by the time I get my kiddos on the bus and then come in and get dressed, it's pretty much my whole day has been at school. And I didn't realize like how much one day of um, not being, work well not working, not being at my desk, was going to affect my workload, but um, I'm glad to be able to see the kids and encourage them, and I'm not by any means a teacher, um, but it's, it's really fun. I saw one of the kids yesterday, he's on my son's football team, and we were laughing. I go in there and I quiz them on their math multiplication facts. And so I was asking him, I'm like, are you ready? Are you ready for the next ones? And, you know, which ones are you going to do this week? And he gets so, you know, they get so excited when it's like a game. So I like the ones who are excited about learning. Okay, friends, I'm going to add some accents to this turkey belly. I'm just like squiggly lines. Let me show you. That's what he looks like so far. See the little squiggly lines? And I'll have to go back and put quite a bit of um, paint on here, but we're just trying to get all of the main colors on so then I can touch up. Okay, see his little feet. You gotta let it dry though, otherwise it, bl otherwise it blends. Okay, so I'm gonna put this back and grab another paintbrush. And I'm gonna work on this turkey some more, the body. My phone rang and you lost me. Yes, I asked at Home Depot and they don't carry it in a big size. No Home Depot around me. Boo, Dana, that's terrible. Maybe, maybe they can order it for you. That would be great. Okay. Dana, remind me, honey, where do you live? Okay, guys, if you are one of my virtual paint party members, this um, tutorial, like step by step of painting him, is in your vault. Who's already thinking about Christmas? Did I overwhelm y'all when I showed you all the Christmas? <laughs> ah, he's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and um, add his eyes. I can't remember what they're supposed to look like though. Let me pull it up. Oh, they're black. I was gonna make them white. Best of Fort Worth. Dana, are you going to be at the Paint Party Headquarters live event this week? Guys, y'all see what I'm doing? I'm using the back of my paintbrush. And let me show y'all what I'm doing. Okay. So, to make crisp polka dots, 
small ones, you can use the back of your paintbrush. And to make the eyes, I just kind of make them oblong. So I start and I just kind of draw them out like a semicircle. You see that? So much easier than trying to paint um, with the other end of a brush to do something like that. Let's see. I'm thinking I'm far from ready. No. You see how I'm trying to get the paint? Shut up. I cannot move that part of I have no idea what that is. Oh, okay. So, Dana, um, my friend Heidi Easley. So, there's a group of us. There's like, I don't know, 10 or 12 of us that we all have creative businesses. And we've actually become like business best friends. Um, it's the only way I really know how to put it. But we share ideas. Um, and a lot of our customers kind of overlap. So a lot of my people are also in her membership, which teaches how to actually have like host paint parties and be profitable. And um, she is putting a conference on this weekend. And so Christy Wells, my business partner for Creative Business Builders, and I are going down there to speak to her people about automation. And yes, it's at Billy Bob's. Hello, Vicki. Yes. Well, I will get to see you in a couple days. I'm so excited. Okay, so now I need my nose. I'll switch to a little paintbrush. Ah. So yes, it is at Billy Bob's. It is at Billy Bob's. I'll be there on Wednesday. Um, so Wanda, are you gonna be there? Did you say yes or no? Will I see you there this week? Do I get to hug your neck? Okay, guys, y'all want to know a secret about orange? It's super transparent. So, since it's the top coat, I want y'all to see how thick I put that on. And I'm going to let that dry, and then I'm going to put some more thickness right on the top of that. Now, I'm going to take my red. Whoops. I keep, um... I keep losing it over here. I'm gonna take my red and I'm gonna make that like thing. I don't know what it's called. It comes down off of his nose. All right guys, this is where we're at. Um, Dana, this is her first one. This is the first one that she's doing. And my business partner, Christy, and I, we help creative business owners um, build their businesses. But specifically, what Heidi does is she teaches people how to have paint parties, like how to have a paint party business. So where she like packs all of her stuff up and she takes it to a location and she teaches you how to do that. Um, and that's not our specialty because it's not what I do. I do virtual and then I have a studio where I do some paint parties, but mostly what I do is online. So um, we all just kind of team up and we help each other's members get further and do more. And so Christy and I are actually going to talk about how to automate some of the tasks that keep you from painting. So anyway, it's going to be super, super fun. All right, guys, I'm dipping in my light brown in my um, dark brown and this is where I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna add some accents now if I over accent because that's what I hear a lot of people say like oh man I overdid it y'all know what I'm gonna say paint over it so I'm gonna grab here let me move this out of the way I'm gonna grab some brown because I kind of overdid it. And you just want to show just a little bit of texture. So yeah, this is Heidi's first event. And 
I know it is awesome. We have, I mean, we all went to Canada together in August and I can honestly say that like sometimes, well, not sometimes, quite often, being in business by yourself is, is super hard. Cause like it gets lonely and you have days where it's like, oh gosh, like nothing I'm doing is working. And um, so it's really awesome to have those other people. And that's just what we have, like that's what Heidi does for her paint party headquarters people. And that's what we do for our creative business biz builders people. And that's what that creative group does for Christy and I. So it's so important guys, it's so important if you're gonna do this for a business that you have support. Cause like your friends and your husband and your kids, like no one gets it. They just they don't understand what it's like. So um, you've gotta kind of rally together. Okay, so let me, um, I know he's upside down. All right, so there he is. I'm gonna blow dry him <laughs> really quickly. And then I'm going to add some, just of this Harvest Gold. Hi, Hannah. How are you, love? I'm going to add some of this Harvest Gold, and I'm just going to draw a buckle on the hat with this really thin paintbrush. All right. Now... Everybody attaches theirs. I'm sorry, my shirt feels all weird today. Um, everybody attaches theirs to their, their signs differently. But um, mine, I use Velcro on the back, and that has just that's worked for me. Mine is not in the like not in the direct sun. It doesn't get wet or anything. So this works for me. You may have to do it differently. Um, okay, let's see. I've never had a paint party before. But my super motivating friend has already planned one for me. To, oh, yay! That is so awesome. I love that. Vicki says, I've learned so much from Paint Party Headquarters. I'm 70, so it's a new thing. All this marketing media, event pages, PayPal links, etc. Yes. Yes, Vicki. Yes. I understand. And I'm so excited. Um, we've got some fun stuff to share with you um, this week. So, it, our Christy and I, our talks are going to be really short. But we'll be we'll be around um, after we'll be around afterwards. I say I won't physically be around because I have to head back to the Houston area um, as soon as I'm done speaking. But um, virtually we'll be around. You'll be able to message us. They don't get it. No. Yes. Um. So I somebody messaged me this week and. She, asked, she told me she's put up an event. I want to talk through this a little bit. She put up an event on Facebook, and she said that she looked at what the events were going for in her area, what people were pay, paying, and she started there, and then she reduced her price, and she's still not getting traction. Guys, business is hard. It's not a instant. By the way, if you were just hanging, on, hanging out to watch paint, I am done with my little turkey um, I'm just letting him dry and I was going to talk through some of the questions that I've been asked just in case it might help somebody business is hard it is an uphill battle quite a bit of the time um, you have to really celebrate your little successes whether that means um, my phone dings and I made ten dollars in template you know purchases like you have to celebrate all of your successes because there are going to be those days where no one is signing up to come to your party or you put something out there that you think is going to be amazing and it falls flat. So that's just something that Christy and I help our creative business builders with. We, a lot of mindset coaching, a lot of cheering you on when you're in the trenches, but just reassuring you that like it doesn't happen overnight like i've been building my business for three years um dana I, man i wish like if you if there were still tickets available would you go that's what i'm wondering celebrate everything yes christy says celebrate everything christy has 
a huge board next to her desk and she sent me we talk all the time she sent me a picture of it this morning and she said I have this big board because I have to like visually see I'm making progress because in this virtual world like you don't necessarily it's not like a cabinet maker where I go into someone's house and I redo their kitchen and then I'm like oh that's beautiful so much of what I do is I'm providing templates and tutorials and things for other people. And if they're not sharing back with me, their, their small successes um, based on what I've given them or the, the templates, like how much they loved it. Like a lot of times there's not, um, there's not that physical gratification I don't know if that makes sense. So anyway, I say all this to say, in our private group, we don't talk a lot of business. My group is primarily for people who need a stress reliever. They wanna learn to paint. They don't necessarily feel like they can, but they believe that with a little bit of help, they might could get there and that glimmer of hope is what we feed off of and then we just take that and we snowball it and we we just we add to our skills every month and it's amazing oh gotcha okay um anyway it's amazing what those little bitty nuggets of information like you know don't you know make sure you're going and you know in the right direction when you're painting or you know whatever whatever it is that helps it gets so much fun to see those people who think they can't do it and then they, they start to do it and they're like, holy cow, my friends and family didn't think I could ever do this and look what I'm doing and I'm making gifts and all of that. And so, um, so my, our private group is, is not primarily for that. That is what our creative business builders group is for. And that's what groups like paint party headquarters is for. But I do try to answer questions and point you in the right direction. Um, let's see. Oh, you are so fun. You are, Mary, I love you. Um, so anyway, I hope that that was helpful to someone. Don't think, when you look at someone who is throwing a paint party in your town and they have sold out event, and you put one up there and you sell two tickets. Don't stop. Guys, don't stop. You could be right on the edge of your breakthrough and you could stop. So if it's truly what you want to do and it's something that God's put on your heart and you're passionate about, don't give up. You're going to have to refocus and try something different. And one of the things that Christy and I like to talk about um, good job, Kimberly. She said she sold her first one this weekend. One of the best sayings I've ever heard is that failure, success is not the absence of failure. Failure is not, failure is not the absence of success. It's part of it. And think about that for just a second. In order to have success, you have to have failure. How many business owners do you think out of the gate were just like, boom, successful? No, what happened was they tried something. It, some of it might have worked, some of it didn't. So they tried something else. So that's where you, have, you just have to keep going. And like my business is similar, similar to several of my friends' businesses, but my business is still different. Their business is still different. What works in their business isn't gonna work in mine and vice versa. So anyway, um, if you want to see all the new releases coming up, go back and watch the video from the beginning. Um, I painted this cute little guy for my front door for my porch. Um, that new project, which I'm hoping to get it out, gosh, um, soon. Um, but I can't wait to show you all that. And it's going to be in the membership, guys. It's going to be in the membership. Did y'all hear that? So for those of you who are my members um it's gonna be the membership so i hope that that excites you because then you can um use all of these smaller templates and you can make your interchangeable little ornaments 
All right, friends, I gotta go pack for Texas and get some templates released. But thank y'all for hanging out with me. I've missed painting with y'all. It's probably gonna be end of next week before I see you live to paint again. But please show me what you're doing. It makes me so excited and it keeps me going and it keeps me wanting to create more whenever I see what you guys are doing. So I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you for supporting my dreams. Um, y'all are such a blessing. All right. I will talk to y'all later. I will post the video though so you can go back and watch it from the beginning. Bye.